Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to delete emails or at least sort them into folders so you don't have to look at them. I know most of you, um, your inboxes are incredibly full because I taught you how to create an email this year, which is a great skill to have. But now I'm going to show you how to delete stuff. So I am using a student account. And you'll see that for the most part, her inbox is actually quite clean. I believe she's actually been maintaining it. So you'll notice that this student has a bunch of emails from me because I am your teacher and you're gonna get every notification for an assignment that is posted in classroom um, in your inbox. So let's go ahead and get started. So to be able to delete um, all, let's say you don't, you wanna just empty your inbox, you don't care about everything. To be able to get rid of everything, if you go to the upper left-hand corner over here, you're gonna see a box and this box says select. And if you click that box, it's gonna highlight everything, in which case you can then delete everything. But I don't recommend you do that unless you've checked your emails, which this student has not done. So I'm gonna undo that. So I do recommend that you actually open each email up and read what it says, because it could have a comment, or in this case, it has a score for her. So um, let's see if she actually created a folder and she has not done that. So we're gonna do that right now. So let's say that we wanna sort this into a folder. So we're gonna go here to this little icon that says it's a little folder with an arrow which stands for move. If you click that, it's then gonna give you the option to move them into these already pre-made folders that are made on Google, but obviously you don't want that. But if you go down here to create new, you can then go ahead and put Mrs. Torres or fifth grade, whatever you want to label it as so you know that um, it's from me. Or in this case, I'm gonna be more specific since um, all these notifications seem to be coming from Google Classroom. I'm gonna put in Google Classroom. And it has another thing here that says nest under label. This is if you wanna label it under stuff, but obviously you don't have anything. So you're just gonna go ahead and click create. And then it's automatically gonna put that folder over here and it moved that one over here. And if you go down here, on your left um, navigation bar, you'll see that it's already Google Classroom. And if you click that, it's gonna have that one email that we already put in there. So that is how you would create a folder and how you would move an individual email to there. So if you wanna just delete, let's say you click this one, you've read it like, okay, this doesn't have anything good for me. Although um, it does have a comment, so I do recommend you read your Google emails for me because most of them are either gonna be grades um, or comments but usually they're gonna be notifications of assignment posts. But anyway, um, this is another Google Classroom one, so I would definitely label this under Google Classroom, but let's say you don't like it. If you don't like it, then if you just go back up here to your tools, you can then just delete it, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't think the student has looked at it. But those are how you would delete um, emails as a, from your inbox to delete them individually, and then how to create a folder and um, sort your emails into those. So I hope this has been helpful and I can't wait to see you guys organize your emails. Good luck and let me know if you have any questions.